And then we have we have like four, three, four different brands of compression socks. Oh yes. Do y'all want to be video today? <laughs> so here's my theory. They're compression socks. Yes. Here's my theory on compression socks. They don't have to be black, brown, navy, beige, beige, and they don't have to take three people to put them on. So we sell fun compression socks and they come in multiple sizes and it goes by your calf size. So there's regular 8 to, eight to 15, then there's regular 15 to 20 compression, and then there's plus regular and higher compression. Then we even have if you need compression socks but you still want to wear your sandals, we have toeless compression socks. <laughs> That's great. And they're fun. They're funky. They're crazy. We still carry, I'll prove it, we still carry your basic colors. But who wants to wear that every day? I want to I want people to have fun and we've had who Patricia don't you have you bought these for somebody oh, in your yeah, family yes. <laughs> for Shradley. how old I uh, know you bought them for somebody older I thought oh, I bought them for my aunt who was 92 so here's her 92 year old aunt wearing like flamingo compression socks it just gives a little pep in your step and for traveling for flying even if you don't haven't been told you need compression socks it does help when you when you fly on an airplane yeah, tell me why. why well basically they don't pressurize the airplane cabins to what you have down here on the earth it's usually about 10,000 feet and so it doesn't put enough pressure up against your tissues that's number one number two you're seated with your legs down going and you're putting pressure on your veins so that the the uh, venous side of your um, vascular structures aren't draining back up to the heart. So that's why they tell you to get up and walk, not just stand, but walk, because your calf muscles will um, massage those veins and push their fluid back up to your heart. But these help because you have little um, cusps in your veins that become incompetent as you get older, and they start to give way, leak back. Back, and that's why your feet sometimes will start swelling up. So by wearing a compression sock, you're pushing those together and preventing that backflow. So those are several reasons why you would want to wear yeah. compression stockings just on an everyday basis. Yeah. I know I was, we had one of our hospital sales and we're usually there from 7 in the morning till late at night and it was 10 o'clock at night and I'd been there since 7 a.m. I'm exhausted, my legs are so tired and I just decided at that point I was going to try a pair because I hadn't even tried a pair yet. I had so much pep back in my legs after that, I thought why didn't I have these on all day? But it, it is amazing what a uh, compression sock can do and these are fun and they're not too thick, you know, because it's Florida. so. We need, we can't have them be totally. Yeah, no, they're not thick. I wear those. Yes. And then we do have the thicker ones. It really, it's personal preference. We go to the hospital sales and 50% of them will buy the thicker ones and the other half buy the thin ones. So. No, I've never even tried on the yeah. ones. Yeah, well, we'll get you a pair. <laughs> and then of course, um, I'm trying to think, we do have uh, different insoles. There's a, and different little things for extra metatarsal support or a heel straightener, just, minor little fixes to put in your shoes um, and when you need the major stuff she's she's there for that I am not gonna try to diagnose anyone <laughs> it's not my area of expertise